we are in the process of cleaning the El Camino out. And not looking forward to this at all. Yeah. This is like, this the, is worst like, this is the worst part of it. There is so much so, shit. <laughs> so much shit. Like, look at this. I got oil, trash, scrap metal, leaves. And look inside of it. Like, 350 small block engine. That's that's a, all that all this parts in here came off of the engine that's inside of it right now. All right, what's up, guys? So we are getting closer and closer to actually yanking this thing out. We're on a uh, time crunch now. We have to look here. We have to <laughs> actually get this out in two days. Yeah, no, but um, it should. I don't know if we're gonna have it out tonight, but we are getting close. Uh, transmission mounts are disconnected. Zach got that done. Uh, I got all this done. Don't take your attitude outside. <laughs> you guys bicker so much. Thank you. What was that AutoZone comment? Yeah, Zach's, oh, Zach's worked at AutoZone for two weeks. He's hot shit, so. I've worked there longer than two weeks. So <laughs> okay. Two and a half. Shout out to like Hayden for making that joke. No. Um, uh, this engine mount is undone. This one. This is, is my mount. middle finger. You've unplugged some wires. Don't get too cocky here. What was that? Bitch, please! Oh, you're too cocky. What was that AutoZone comment? Alright, guys, so we finally got the engine and trans out of the truck. We used the ratchet strap to kind of tie around the motor, and it uh, worked pretty good. So, hopefully, we can undo that knot. But, um, we've had a couple slowdowns. Luckily, we'll be able to get the El Camino in here soon. We made quite a mess. Whenever we were trying to get the engine out, ATF just went everywhere, and that's why there's a bunch of kitty litter now and the shop is just completely messed up. But the plan is we need to get rid of the Silverado really quick. So it's actually for sale for like a hundred bucks. Like first person that wants to come get it for a hundred bucks can have it. Uh, there is no title on it, which is why it's so cheap. And you guys know the damage on it, there is damage. So uh, yeah, if you, any of y'all are interested in buying it, hundred bucks takes the whole thing. Uh, we gotta get that gone. And then once that's gone, we gotta clean the shop out, get everything reorganized. Empty out the El Camino. El Camino is full of just random stuff. And then put the El Camino on the trailer and then we can bring it in here. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get to that soon. So plan is have the El Camino in here in a couple of days so we can get started on that. Uh, this project's gonna take a little bit longer than I think we thought, but it'll get done. And uh, I don't know, for any of y'all that watched uh, or follow the Instagram, y'all saw the post where we actually like totaled up the cost. So far we're sitting at an estimated cost of $1,700 to actually get it up and running, which is a little bit more than Zach and I projected, but it's not insanely high, so it's definitely doable. Yeah, guys, thanks for being patient. I know we haven't been making a lot of videos. Again, we've had so many slowdowns. Yes, I know Zach already mentioned this probably, but we are going to go carbureted because we've had some people tell us that T uh, TBI is just terrible. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, in the next video, we'll have the El Camino in here. Yeah, thanks. like we so. have like half an engine sitting inside the El Camino right now. So on a side note, I vote we take the doors off and make like bar doors, because look how fucking heavy this is. Yeah, I know. Like, we're gonna redo. Really we're gonna we're gonna reduce it so much weight. Like even if we don't get like get it running while we're waiting to get that drive shaft, we can still like work on the body. And... I'm assuming this battery's bad. Yeah. Okay, where the fuck? This, this Just can't leave go... it in there. Scrap? No. Everything's no, because no, because when we go no, because when we go take four. it to get a new battery, we can use it as a core charge. We have like four batteries. One, two, three. Okay, well I can't four. take those batteries. Has it been recording? Yeah, I've recorded for like three seconds. Look at this. Yeah, it's really bad. It's just like the Subaru. <laughs> yeah. Let's go off roady. Well, this is the first time I've seen this bed somewhat clean. Since like we first got it. This is all the shit that came out. And once we take that to the dump and the metal to the scrapyard, we're gonna go to his car wash and just spray it out. Yeah, spray the whole entire car down. Yep. This is, I like, I'm happy. We're making progress. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. This is like the Subaru all over again. <laughs> We're actually making progress. Yeah. There is the engine and transmission. Yes, I'm sure Don't forget. It's freaking hot in here, so that's why. <laughs> 